Hello everybody, welcome back to Dan and Crane Reacts. It's uh, Friday, as far as I'm doing this right now. And uh, Friday evening, actually. And uh, I hope you guys are all just having a wonderful time. Getting ready for a wonderful weekend. Already in that weekend. Wherever you are in the world, nothing but good karma. Alright you guys, uh, the next song that's coming up is, again... I, I love the offspring, so um, I'm obviously giving you a hint there. Um, Zachary and Ted at, uh, requested offspring, pretty fly for a white guy. Now, I was going to just do the regular studio version with the album cover. But then I saw that on the videos, they have the Woodstock live version. And... Uh, once again, I'm very partial to Woodstock 99 because without uh, a couple of the bands that incited all the messed up stuff that happened, uh, most of it was pretty peaceful and was done right. Uh, just like the original. It's, I mean, you literally, it's like they almost scripted out 99 to be just like 69. I, I, I yeah. Anyway. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I do know that part of the sound isn't going to be, um, it's going to be in the the back end uh, of the music, and that's when the girls are saying, pretty fly for a white guy. Oh, there's your other hint. Uh, yeah, so they're a little bit distant sounding, but uh, everything else is on point. So, uh, and and like I said, you gotta realize how big this crowd is. Like everybody trips about Moscow and Metallica. Well, look at this crowd. Um, so let's do it. Offspring, pretty fly for a white guy. Woodstock '99 version. Thank you. 
Hey, man. Hey, let me ask you a personal question. How many people here really like NSYNC? Perfect. Perfect. How many people here ever woke up one morning and just decided it wasn't one of those days and you're going to break some shit? Wow, so they just cut off from Pretty Fly for a White Guy and went straight to the absolute worst band that caused the most damage in this whole event. Um, this is one of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of Limp Biscuit. I do like some of their songs, but I still hold the grudge because uh, they're the band that really flipped the crowd on its head. I mean... I could compare it to some other stuff that's happened recently in American history, but um, I'm not going to. Uh, but yeah, Limp Biscuit is the reason that Woodstock 99 has such a bad name. Uh, so yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to Offspring. Uh, it's amazing how good they sound. They, he sounds just like the album. Uh, you don't get that from a lot of the bands. A lot of the bands don't sound the same when they're actually playing live. He does. Dexter does. Uh, so, yeah. I I just, I got a rocket. I love it. It's Offspring. It's getting a 10 out of 10. Actually, I'd give it 11 out of 10 if I could. But I don't do that. But uh, just the fact it's from Woodstock awesome makes it really awesome um i really encourage you guys if you get a chance try to watch as much of the woodstock uh from day one to day three um so many good bands nine inch nails i mean metallica uh willie nelson uh shit, I, i'm pretty sure james brown was there too i could be wrong about that but i'm pretty sure uh, i mean it was just just like 1969, it was the greatest musicians of the time all together. And everybody sitting in a field. And uh, until, until a couple things went wrong, it was a great concert. And uh, I really encourage everybody to check it out because there were so many great Sheryl Crow's performance. Even if you don't like Sheryl Crow you got to check out her performance. That was great. Uh, I remember that one. Um, and I'm not a big Sheryl Crow fan either. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, you guys. Um, I hope you guys are all keeping an open mind. Um, you know, if you're listening to Offspring, maybe hey, check out some of the 80s music or the 70s music that we do. Mellow Mondays. Um Something like that. So you get an idea of, of uh, other music that's just as good, but in a different way. Because um, that's really the goal of the channel is everybody listens to each other's music. Whether you're a hard rock fan or a classic rock fan or a country fan or a rap fan. Give them all a chance. That's what I do. And I, I have nothing to regret. I have so many new bands to listen to. All right, you guys. Uh, Zach and Ted. You know what I'm going to say, dude. You rock, obviously. Uh, let me know if there's any more offspring or if you want to go to another band or whatever. Uh, just let me know your next request. And, of course, you're going to have it. I might already have it written down, actually, at the point of this recording. But uh, just in case I don't, you know what I'm saying. All right, you guys. Do me one big favor. And I really do mean this every single time I say it. Because you guys are a reason I get up in the morning. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Come on back. Catch you. On the flip side.